Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So upcoming with module 28, we'll be getting a new campaign buyout. And yes, that is going to be for the next campaign, the Demon Web Pits from module 26. We already have the ability to get a campaign buyout for all the previous ones, Men's Brands in North Dark, Dragonborn Vale, etc. We don't have one for Light of Zaraxxus yet, and we don't have one for, say, the new campaign coming, Adventures in Wild Space. So they seem to be having it always delayed by two modules when they come out with the campaign buyout. So you'll be able to get this buyout through the Zen Market, and they're going to be adding these quick links on the campaign section as well, leading you to the Zen Market where you can immediately purchase it. You can see that's going to be with the previous campaigns like Menzer Branzen and also North Dark Reaches and all the other ones too. So that, yeah, I guess uh, somebody who wasn't aware of the buyout exists, they'll now be able to easier see that directly on the campaign window. And now whether you should get this or not is another story. Campaigns will give you a bunch of rewards, and lately campaigns last 10 weeks. So if you say wanted to catch up with other players who might have already done this 10 weeks since the campaign was released, this is again way back to last year with module 26, you might want to get a jump ahead by yeah immediately buying it out and then unlock everything. However, be aware that the campaign rewards are actually not that great on this one except the end reward, which, yeah, is a 10-week grind to get there, so you might want to just get the buyout to get there. This pack in particular has some very useful items in it. Now, the other rewards that you can get on the track is this fashion headpiece, which appears to have no upper body and lower body parts in the game. I don't know why. You've got a vanity pet and a neck and waist set here, which is not great. The bottom ones here are only available once per account. So if you've already claimed them on any other character, you won't be able to get them again, regardless of how many other characters you complete this campaign on. You can see you just get some gold. The second reward would just be five greater shards. And the last one here is just a glyph of potency. So yeah, you're not missing out on much there. However, you do go and get a bunch of campaign currency with this buyout. And thus you might be able to purchase certain things from the store. So let's have a look at this buyout. Let's go and purchase it here. Now, for testing purposes on the previous server, you can get them right away, costing you nothing. But I assume that price tag for that token here, which is also unbound, you can sell it on the auction house if you want to flip, say, a profit. The general price of those buyouts is 2,000 Zen. That's the base cost. Again, I highly recommend if you ever want to consider buying these, go ahead and get a 20% discount at least through invoking. You get these Celestial Bags and you can get a 20% off coupon. That's the minimum. There are other ones for other sections too, going up to even 30%, if not 40% off a key. So once you have this, again, you can choose to sell it or you can go and use it. So you double click it and then it will give you all the currency and will give you all that progress on the campaign immediately. So now we unlock all the rewards. You do get this pack here then as well with a bunch of items and you can read the text there and it says this currency is to unlock all of the boons. However, the boon unlock tasks require quest progress that this pack does not give you. And you may go and spend this currency on other items if you wanted to, but this should give you everything you need for the boon points if you do the quests. That is kind of unfortunate. It means you're still going to have to go and do the whole storyline for the demon web pits. You're going to have to go do a bunch of questing in order to actually get the boon points. And this might be the main reason you get the buyout. Four boon points is the maximum you're getting from this campaign, like many others in the past. But other than that, you could, yes, spend the currency in the store. You're going to unlock everything here. You should have all the milestones completed. You could buy the new insignias here. We do have to actually claim the items from the campaign for to give us progress of, say, the milestone. This one's saying we haven't done the fourth milestone, but you just need to claim the rewards. So you get that fashion mask. You get that vanity pet. 
you get these gold pieces or there might be some other refinement rewards if you have never done this campaign but then i would recommend not getting the buyout just do it slowly it's fine there's no rush to be honest you get this artifact set pack and you finally get the bounty choice pack which is actually pretty good because it contains all the illustrate rings and the only place to get these rings otherwise is master temple of the spider and in particular the illustrate grace ring is super good to support your team in dealing damage so this is for tanks and healers generally healers will run it every healer class can make use of that you just need to make sure you use a multi-target at will attack against the boss the rest of the rings here are yeah okay there are some nice ones and if you have all the rings already you're just getting some insignia powder or a glyph otherwise we did obtain this pack which has the netherese engines pendant and the chain this does create a set if you go and get the artifact now to get the artifact i believe you have to buy it from the campaign store right here after you claim all the milestone rewards you can see you now unlock everything in the store you have that artifact set including the mystic bolt artifact set and i would just say pass on all of these they are not worth it and to upgrade say the realm engine core you need to have completed your Mensa Branson campaign. So you might have to buy that campaign out too, or wait by progressing it, because this one will give you the ability to get the reagents to get those artifacts upgraded. If we have, say, claimed all the rewards, we should be able to, yes, get these items that you need to upgrade those artifacts and without them you can't i don't i really don't like that system and i'm very thankful they gave up on it and have made newer artifacts just a lot easier to upgrade so i would not bother with this set at all just yeah set up for gold whatever or just keep it in your inventory in case one day it's useful so other than that with the demon web pits campaign you could get the enchanted dragon armor. The thing is though, you have to purchase this armor, first of all, from the Men's of Branson campaign, meaning you would have to have done some progress on that and got currency to be able to actually buy it. You can see even with the campaign buyout we just got from Men's of Branson, we don't get enough of these glyphs of warding to even be able to purchase any of this legendary gear. So that's kind of pointless, but again, you could just go and grind that campaign and get the currency. Another thing you can do is abyssal hunts tied to the demon web pits, because you now have a bunch of this currency, which is these abyssal fragments, which you'll use to say, get the modifiers upgraded. You have enough to say, do that, but you would be sacrificing what you need for say the boons. So again, in order to actually get any of the boons, annoyingly, you have to do the quests. So for example, here, we need to complete the mission House Fabrish. And that quest would just be going to Sergeant Knox first, getting the quest Whispers in the Dark. And this quest is actually just to unlock Menza Branson, but you need to unlock the hub area for Menza Branson to actually go and get the quest to unlock, say, the Demon Web Pits with Narbondolin. On this quest you just have to beat up enemies and beating up some of these bosses as well you beat up the final boss and now you're in the whispering post and i believe once you're here you can get the quest a discreet meeting and then go on to narbondolin the demon web pit zone once you're here you will have to do some questing to get basically the storyline completed and yeah, if you're skipping all the North Dark Reaches storyline, the Mensa Branson storyline, so if you actually read what they're talking about, you might be a bit confused. So I would recommend going back on those, but if you didn't get the buyouts for them, well, you'll be stuck on the time gate, which is the 10 week thing. I mean, usually the storylines end around week six, and yeah, otherwise you're jumping straight to the Demon Web Pits. And there's a big reason why I would not recommend getting the Mensa Branson buyout like I just did there and showed you. And that is because with Demon Web Pits, you can do Abyssal Hunts and very easily gain campaign progress for Mensa Branson as a side benefit. However, again, we need to do some questing here. 
So I'll just run through a few. One of the quests, we just have to save these injured mages. So you'll interact with them. You'll have to kill the enemies though. We also have to collect these artifacts. Once those are done, you now unlock those abyssal hunts. So you get your first tutorial one. And you just kill your hunt target, speak to the guy, and you're done. Now you should get your hunt modifiers with this next quest. And this is where you can go to your key section, view the modifiers. And what I highly recommend getting is ferocity. So just go and unlock this one right here. You should have enough currency to do that. And now you should be able to go to any of the abyssal tears. You interact with this and you put your ferocity. And then when you kill your hunt boss, you will get the currency for Menza Branzen. There you go. We got Glyphs of Warding, which is the Menza Branzen campaign currency. And you'll be able to get the campaign progress with getting the mint. And you'll also be able to get the elite sigils that you need for other things along with the boom points. So essentially getting this buyout will allow you to straight away unlock entirety of the demon web pits and then be getting those abyssal hunts to be able to complete all of Menza Branson a lot, lot quicker. Just be aware of the item level requirements and that's probably one thing that will catch out a lot of people. It's because you have to do the quests, you have to access the zone, you need to have the item level to actually go here, which is 60,000 item level. So if you're below that, don't even consider getting the buyout at all. And I personally wouldn't recommend getting the buyout anyway. There's no need to complete the campaign that quickly. Boon points are not a priority. You only need about 76 boon points to get all the important damage dealing ones. And on a healer in tank, it's not even important at all because you're not competing, let's say, with Pain Giver Ward. You just need to do your job well, and none of these boom points are going to make it that much easier. You're not going to notice the difference. So if you only need 76 boom points, well, you can do, like, everything else. You can do all your legacy campaigns, which you can complete with genie gifts, and you get times two events all the time. You have all those adventures as well, and you'll have more than enough boon points. And from there, just slowly work with these other campaigns, which may eventually convert to legacy campaigns too. Ultimately, I don't really see the need to get this campaign buyout. It's not important. The campaign doesn't unlock anything major. Yes, you will be able to get a bit of a head start, a bit of a boost with regards to getting the campaign currency, but just doing some questing and you'll have that currency in no time. You can jump into the Demon Weapons dungeon as well as soon as you unlock it at 200 progress on any character. And then you can also get all of the Fabrish favor you need from that dungeon. And again, everything you need you can pretty much get from day one, including this Chana Bregan armor. You just need to have purchased it from, say, the Mentor Branson campaign, which you can also purchase, say, day one. You just need the currency. We'll buy, for example, this headpiece here on Legendary. Then you switch to the Demon Web Pit store. You don't need any progress, and you can already go and upgrade it here. Ta-da. So, yeah, not important to get the buyouts. No rush to complete the campaign. The only reason to would be to get the boon points quickly. But it's not even that quickly because you're still stuck having to do all the questing for those boom points. They won't give you the questing unlocked. As it says in the description, you can read that exactly here and it will tell you what it's giving you and why. Just be careful with that. Of course, you can always buy it at the end and sell it on the auction house like all of the other campaign completion tokens. So hopefully this is somewhat insightful to you guys. Again, this will only be coming with module 28. Just a way to skip, say, the grind. You can just jump into the campaign, do all the storyline and be done with it. Getting all the boon points with the currency from the token. Once again, a massive thank you to all of these channel members for your added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.